Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna do a glucose test on the legendary foods, Tasty Pastries, and we'll find out how it impacts me right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So recently, Legendary Foods came out with these tasty pastries, and these things are delicious. I mean, Rachel and I recently did a review on them, and um, yeah, we just really enjoyed them. If you haven't seen that review video, I will leave a link for it over my head. Also, if you're wondering where is Rachel, she's sleeping. It is currently 3.52 in the morning. I've been up working all night, so I figured, you know what, if I'm gonna be up anyway, why not do a glucose test on these things? Because there are a couple of questionable ingredients in here that could possibly elevate my glucose level or other people's. Uh, so I figured, why not check? I hope they don't because I really do enjoy them, but you never know. Now, the one thing I do wanna say is whether they impact my glucose or they don't impact them, that is specific to me and whatever results I have may not be the same with you. So I always suggest if there is an ingredient in a product that you think could possibly elevate your glucose level, you should check it yourself. Also, I always look for when I'm doing a glucose test to see how much of a spike it is. If it's only a five, 10, 15, even a 20 point jump, I don't get as concerned. What I'm really looking for is those things that are like 25, 30, 35, 40, or a hundred point jumps. When you're up to that 20, you're within the margin of error. You know, when you get into that 10 to 20 range, a lot of times I'm gonna be like, okay, it elevated me just a little bit, but you know, I may have it once in a while, but there is up to a 20% margin of error on these glucose machines. So that's just something to remember that you can test yourself 10 different times and get 10 different readings all in a row. So let's go ahead and the first thing we'll do is we're gonna get a baseline. I've got some alcohol pads here. I will quickly clean my finger. I already washed my hands, but we will give it another little alcohol rubbing. Dry them off a little bit. I've got my Freestyle Libre here. So we'll go ahead and set that one up. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what the rusting is. And again, it is 3.55 in the morning. Okay, so my glucose level right now is 84 at 3.55 in the morning. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and we're going to eat the strawberry one. I'm not gonna even heat it up or anything like that. Just gonna eat it just like this. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna just kind of refresh everybody's memory on the nutrition. Now, I have to tell you that the pastry on these things is really good. Like the filling is really good, but so is the pastry. So you can actually see like the filling there. It's coming through on the back. It's got this nice little bit of uh, frosting on the front. Mm. They are really, really good. Okay, just a little reminder on the nutrition on these. There's 10 servings in this box. It's 170 calories per pastry, 13 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. It's 21 total carbohydrates, uh, nine gram, or eight grams of dietary fiber, five grams of erythritol, four grams of allulose. So that's gonna make it uh, four net carbs per pastry. 
The ingredients in this are almond flour, protein blend, which is micellar casein, collagen peptides, whey protein isolate. Then there's erythritol, hyaluronic sunflower oil, soluble corn fiber, allulose, cellulose, palm oil. And then it contains 2% or less of dried strawberries, vanilla extract, strawberry extract, gum arabic, sea salt, baking soda, gelatin, citric acid, xanthan gum, sunflower lecithin, modified food starch, glycerin, FD&C red number 40, FD&C yellow number 5, FD&C yellow number 6, FD&C blue number 1, sucralose, sodium, and natural flavors. So it's not the super cleanest ingredients in the world. Um, if you're going to give them to your kids, I think they're awesome. I think they're great for a snack once in a while, but they're not like if you're looking to do like really clean keto, this is not the answer. Okay, I have one bite left, so I'm going to finish this up. It is currently 358. We're going to come back in 30 minutes and check our blood sugar, and then we'll come back at an hour mark and then possibly at a two hour mark, depending on where we're at at the 30 minute and the one hour mark. We'll see you in a little bit. <sighs> okay. Hopefully I don't fall asleep during this whole thing. It is 4.26 in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and check our 30 minute mark. Just a reminder of what um, my first glucose was. I'm gonna leave it right down here on the bottom, or right up here actually. Oh, didn't get a strip out. Okay. Here we go. 80. <laughs> Boy, I am relieved. I am relieved. So my blood glucose actually dropped to 80. So it went down four points. I think, yeah, four points, because we started off at 84. Is that right? Let me just double check there. Logbook, yes, 84. I almost forgot. So we went down four points in the first 30 minutes. I am really excited about that. Now, again, four points, that's within the margin of error. So, you know, anytime you eat anything, no matter what it is, fat, a piece of candy, you know, one of these Pop-Tarts, you're going to have some type of an insulin reaction but my glucose isn't going up. So that's a good thing. We're gonna come back in another 30 minutes and check it at the one hour mark. Okay, almost fell asleep. Not there yet though. Five o'clock, we're at the one hour mark. Go ahead and check it now. There we go. Couldn't get that one open. Okay, here we go. So just a reminder of where we started out. One hour mark. Here we go. Eighty four. So we're back at eighty four. So we're pretty much holding steady. You know, again, like I said earlier, you know, we started off at eighty four, dropping down to eighty. That's within the margin of error. We're still at eighty four. We're going to come back. I'm assuming it's not going to go up, but you never know. So we're going to come back at a six o'clock and check it one more time. Last one, 5.57 a.m. Hopefully this one didn't go up a little bit because I kind of nodded off a little bit. So I'm really hoping that uh, I don't have an elevated glucose just from like falling asleep and then waking up. But if I do, I don't believe it would be from the Pop-Tarts just because we didn't have any kind of increase at the 30 minute and the one hour mark. So there's really no reason to be testing right now, but I'm just following through with it. Then I'm gonna go take a nap.
Okay, that's the remote for the camera. That is not gonna do a test. Reminder right here, started off at 80, went up to, uh, started off at 84, went to 80, and then back up to 84. And let's see. Okay. 86. So in the end, my glucose is unchanged. I mean, 80, 80 to 80 or 84 to 80, back to 84, 86. That's all within the margin of error. Like I said, you can test it 10 times right now and get 10 different numbers. As far as I'm personally concerned on me, these don't impact my glucose at all. And again, I did the strawberry flavor. Um, there's also the cinnamon flavor, but they're pretty much the same ingredients. If anything, the strawberry's got more things that are gonna cause your blood sugar to increase, which is why I chose that one, uh, because they do have the strawberries and things like that in it. But again, like I said earlier, when we first started this, just because these didn't impact my blood sugar doesn't mean it's not gonna impact yours. So I always suggest if you have any questions, Get yourself a meter. You can buy them very, very cheaply at Walmart where you're gonna pay like $10 for 50 strips. You can buy a home meter set for like 20 bucks. So I think it's the best thing. I think it's much more important to check your glucose readings on foods than it is ketones. Uh, if you're keeping your, your glucose really low, you will get yourself into ketosis. Uh, but that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if there's any other products that you'd like me to test. And until next time, please do me a favor, hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and hit the little bell button so that you're notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.